Hi there, I'm Sandy Allnock. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I am excited because it is July and July means World Watercolor Month. I had been holding off on doing a whole lot of watercolor recently because I wanted to try to build up the excitement. When I don't use a medium for a while and then I suddenly get back to it, I have newfound excitement that I don't normally have if I just plod along using the same stuff all the time. I have new ideas, I have fresh learnings from other mediums that I'll then apply to this particular one, and watercolor and gouache are kind of that right now. I've been doing a little painting in preparation for this month, and I am already just in excitement mode. I have a bunch of things planned that I want to tell you about. It's going to be a fire hose, I apologize, but I want to share it with you. First off, here on YouTube, I'm going to be doing daily shorts on the days that I don't have big videos. My big videos are on Tuesdays and Saturdays, so I'm going to try, knock on wood, crossing all the fingers, to get a watercolor short done or a gouache short for each day. If you have a question that you would like answered that's just a, a quick, hey, can you show me how that brush stroke is made, or what does that brush do, or what does this color do, or how did you make such and such in this other video that I saw? It, you want me to demonstrate something? Let me know, because that would be great to fill my month of coming up with new ideas for here on YouTube. Secondly, I am going to be doing something new this year that I haven't done in past years, and I'm calling it Watercolor Wednesdays. I'm going to be doing Zoom calls they're paint along Zoom calls every Wednesday, different hours of the day. So different time zones can have it in a better time for you. But each of those is going to be free. So you can sign up over at Art Venture in the events tab and RSVP for them. I will provide you with any sketches, supplies you're going to need, but most of it is just basic watercolor supplies. And one of them is going to be a stamper focused one. So if you saw my previous video, you'll know which stamp set that I'll be using. So that's going to happen. And if you miss those Zooms and you want to see them, and I'll, I'll post a recap at the end of the month so you can see all the stuff you missed, you can join in a class that is called Watercolor Wednesdays 2024. And I'm going to gather all of those five hours of Zooms, five plus hours, because I don't usually stick to just an hour when I do a Zoom call. And I'm going to put all those together in a class. You can sign up for the class now. And then the day after each of the Zooms, you'll be able to watch the replay right away. Or you can wait until later, see what the whole class is all about, and then sign up for the class. The link's going to be in the doobly-doo for that. And now for fundraising. I've already been fundraising. My art of my tigress has been made into mugs and zipper pouches over at World Watercolor Month. And you can go purchase there from Charlie, or you can go get my dot card fundraiser. It's a dot card that has paint blobs on it that you can actually paint with. And every single one has been going out the door with an ATC in it. I've been madly making ATCs so that I could have enough for everybody to get one along with their fundraiser dot card. Then we have classes. I always fundraise with my classes, and this year I'm going to do something a little different. I have a coupon code, and it's listed on the website, and I will put the link in the doobly do. I know it's a link fest down there. And the coupon code will get you 10% off of the classes that are on that page. Now, I'm going to do a dollar donation to the International Child Art Foundation, which is what we're raising money for, for each of those classes if you use the coupon code. If you decide to forego the coupon code, then all of that 10% goes to the children at the International Child Art Foundation. But you can also get a percentage off because I know some people need that in order to take an art class because, you know, times are tough. But art is worth it, right? If you're confused by all this information, there is one link, one link that supersedes them all. And it is my World Watercolor Month page at art-classes.com. And it's so easy to find because it's in the purple bar at the bottom of the page. I'll also put it in the menu, but just click on the link in the purple bar. It um, has a paragraph at the top that's that talks about World Watercolor Month, has a link to Charlie's website. So you can go buy some swag over there and raise money. You can check out the prompts that he posts all the time. He posts them all year long, but... He has a special one for World Watercolor Month. So all those links are there. 
This next section is like your guide to this page. So if you want to see the new classes, tap on the photo. If you want the watercolor Wednesdays, tap on the photo. Um, landscape singles is a new thing that I'll talk about in a second. And then art venture is the community. So that'll take you over. You can join the community. You can either use the Mighty Networks app or visit on the web, whichever you prefer. Okay, fundraising section has the coupon code and how the whole fundraising thing works. So you can check all of that out. And then Watercolor Wednesdays, it'll tell you all about the free Zooms and what we're doing each week, as well as the class. If you want to buy a class for 30 bucks and get five hours worth of teaching in that, you can purchase the class and see everything on Thursdays. And you are RSVP for the free Zooms at ArtVenture. Then we have the section that has the new courses in it. So let me show you those. First is Imaginary Creatures, which has been long wished for. Uh, this one is has been in color pencil and in alcohol marker for a, a while now and it has not been in watercolor and people have been asking when are you going to do watercolor well guess what it's world watercolor month so we've got one instead of playing silly games to try to come up with random things to make the critters out of i asked friends of mine i texted friends who have kids or grandkids and said will you get a suggestion from your kiddo and that's what they gave us so we we got one where they're like, yeah, I want big teeth. And another wanted a dragon. And of course, somebody wanted a cat. So secondly is Shine Your Light Bible Journaling. I haven't had a new Bible journaling class out in a long time. And since I did an event at my church teaching this candle to a very large group of people, I made videos for that and then started leading a group at my church. I did a four-week session with uh, some people there. And... All the lessons have a watercolor version of them, either watercolor or watercolor pencil, but some of them have also um, some color pencil as well. So you have multiple options with each one of these because the eyeball, I'm not sure how many people are going to get as crazy as I did with the eyeball. So you can do one in colored pencil as well. And there's a pen and ink lesson for those of you who like to doodle like I do. And even one version of it is on a sheet of vellum. So you can do vellum tip, in, tip ins. So that is shine your light. Next up is gouache. Several of you have been asking when I'm going to do some intermediate gouache. And there we go. We have three different paintings that we'll do in this course. And this one's a little different because basically it's like sitting at my shoulder and I just kind of talk random stream of consciousness. I didn't do it while I was painting because I can't talk and paint at the same time, but it has more of that vibe to it. So I just talk about how I think through a painting and how I think through the composition and the values that I'm using and what changes I'm making from the reference that I'm using or the place that I'm sitting in front of and how I adapt from that. And you even get to see like some tragedy happen in this one because that tree on the upper right hand side went all kinds of ways of wrong and I was able to reclaim it by the time the lesson was over. So that's the gouache class. And then there's a teaser for the watercolor seascapes, which I have wanted to do for two years. And this is going to be the year. It's just not done yet. <laughs> I have one done. I'm not sure if this one's going to make it in the class, but I did one painting that I just finished and absolutely had a blast with it. There is no white gouache in here at all. It is all negative painting and I'm going to show you how to do it. And I'm just going to tell you now, you need the needle brush. You need to get yourself a liner brush to do it, but it's, going to be like mind opening I think to do moving water like this moving splashing water because it's going to help you to really understand negative painting in a different way because water is very forgiving as opposed to some other subjects so that's the new classes yay for that if you want more on the seascapes class sign up for the email list because the email list is going to be the first to hear about it when it's ready so hopefully in a week or so Next, there's a search a course section. You can pick a level. There's even a non-watercolor section of classes that are part of this sale, this fundraiser. But let me just tap on the level four and zoom down there so you can see something special that I've just done. There's this group of classes which are not part of this special thing, but foundations classes are ones that are kind of expensive. They're like big, bigger classes. They're for full big paintings. And for a hundred bucks, some people don't really want to invest that if they don't know if they're at a level four or not, 
Well, now you can just take one of them and try it out and see whether that's for you. And if you take that one and you're like, oh my gosh, I totally could do this. I am at a level four. Look at me. I'm amazing. And then you sign up for the full class. I will refund the single. So basically you don't lose anything by trying a single and you can just try a single tree and that'll help you in lots of other things. You don't have to go on and take the full course, but anyway, um, if you want the dot card, there's a link to it right there in the fundraising section. So I, I kind of minim minimized it because there's not very many dot cards left, even as I'm doing this voiceover. So um, we might be all finished by the time this video even goes live. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, there's going to be a link to this page in the purple bar at the bottom of the website. That should make it really easy to find. And if you could help our fundraising efforts by sharing this page with your friends, if you have a blog, link to it, uh, put it in your story over on Instagram, just any way that you can get the word out that we are fundraising to help kids make art. We'll see you on Wednesday, I hope, when we are going to paint a tree frog. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.